What's going on everybody? Spaceballs here. Welcome back to another Clipper Crystal Guardians video. Today guys, we're back on Vito's account. We did some a mass summoning session for him yesterday. And now today we're going to be building him a Vapor team and a L12 team. He was on L10. He doesn't have many Berserk runes. Not that he necessarily needs Berserk runes, but he's at the point in the game where all his monsters are ruined with Agile runes. So now we want to start getting him Berserk runes. And we definitely want him to start clearing Vapor. And then after this, we're, all, we're going to build him a lair team, but he's going to have to start building the monsters, which we'll go over in this video. So with no further ado, guys, let's get into this review. Review slash build. We're going to just re really be building him some teams. So we're going to build him a Vapor team today and a stable L12 team today as well. And then after that, I'm going to put him in the right direction to start building his lair team as well, which he's already, you know, he's already started. He's got his two Holy Swordsmen. He's got a third one. Now, I'm pretty sure he has Bone King because we pulled him one yesterday. I'm pretty sure we pulled him one yesterday. Almost 100% sure. And I think he had one already. Yeah, he has one anyway, so he is the perfect lair team. He's got the back line. He just needs to finish up these Holy Swordsmen. And we need to get some decent runes, but that's not going to be today. The runes aren't too bad, but we need to get this attack up to plus 3,000, around the plus 3,000 mark. And this crit damage is way too low. We're going to need his crit damage to be a little bit higher than that. And same thing for this one. So we're going to have to do some work on his lair team. But for today, we can definitely build him a stable um, Vapor team and a stable L12 team. Which I've already been working on. So I, I already know what needs to be done. We just need to fix the turn order a little bit. Now, this account doesn't really have any Berserk runes at all. Now, as you get through the higher stages of Vapor, you're going to need Selene. And I would really like to put Selene on Berserk Runes. Um, she doesn't... These, yeah, these Berserk Runes are garbage, so we're actually going to get rid of these. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build you the Vapor Team, but you're also going to start farming L12 a little bit first so you can get some Berserk Runes so we can get... We just need to get Selene and Medusa on a decent Berserk set, and you are good to go. Like, you should be able to clear Vapor no problem, and then you can go straight into the lair, and you don't have to worry about L12 or C12 or anything like that. But at this point where you are, you are just lacking Berserk sets. Like, I don't really see any Berserk sets at all. And I'm not saying you need Berserk runes. It's just where you are in the game, it's just time that you have some Berserk sets. I mean, you do have a lot of Agile sets, as you guys can see here. I just think it's time for you to start focusing. I think this is your second Archmage. Yeah, you pretty much have everything on, on Agile, which is good. That's good. That's what you're supposed to do. If you don't have Berserk... Agile is the next best thing because you definitely want speed. So now he's going to be a part of your your L12 team. So we want to get his runes maxed out whenever you can. I mean, you got plenty of Kalyanite up here. So I would say definitely max out his runes. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I would like to get more crit damage on him. Let's see what you have here. Yeah, no. We don't want to run crit rate on slot 6. I mean, slot 4. Here we go. Spaceballs is epic failing already. But we don't know. We definitely don't want to run crit rate on on this slot so we're definitely going to get rid of this let's just lock it because you maxed it out and yeah this is a common though I don't really like using common or magic but again we're going to have to use what we're going to have to use let's see if we can find him from somebody else let's see let's see let's see Oh, I hear the ice cream man. I haven't got the ice cream man in like probably like five plus years. That brings back memories when I was a kid. I used to always get Mr. Softy. Okay, yeah, I don't see anything here, so we're just gonna have to wing it. We're just gonna have to wing it. Yeah, these runes. That runes not too bad. At least that runes are heroic. It doesn't have crit rate on it. So I'm seeing the problem here already. Probably even better be better off running him with speed because we're really mostly using him for his the second skill, which is based off of max HP, which is crit damage. So let's see what happens if we put let's see what happens if we put this here. Now what's his overall stats? Alright, so now he's just lacking crit rate. So maybe we can get him on a on a on a wild set instead of a you know full ignore defense. But again, this this account's definitely lacking runes. That's really the problem. Like and like what I try to tell you guys 
and like a lot of you guys that do these mass summonings, like you better spend you're better off spending your money on runes than spending your money on summons. Because once you get everything, like I know you need food and stuff, but there's ways to get food and farm food. Runes, not so much. It's much harder to get to come by good runes than it is to come by like you know monsters. Like monsters, you're gonna get over time. You're gonna get the monsters. Okay, so I like this better because this has crit rate. So let's put this on him. Now, what's this one? This one, yeah, this is a common root, so we want to get rid of this too, I think. This is crit rate and defense. So let's put this on him for now. Yeah, so now he's at 60%. If we upgrade these, we get a little lucky. We can get him at that 70-80%, which is, which is fine for now. It's fine for what we need him for. We could probably even change this to, to speed. It is going to lower his attack. Like I said, we're mostly using him for crit damage. So where is that? Yeah, this one here. But then we're really going to tank. We're going to tank his attack. How much? He's got... Okay. There's someone. I think there was someone at my door. I always, I always, think, I always feel like there's somebody knocking at my door. I don't know if it's because like, I have the headset on, but then I go to the door and there's nobody there. I'm like, okay. So like, okay, so this should be good for now. I should have probably upgraded these runes while I had it on pause. But I feel like once we upgrade this, he's going to be okay. I mean, he doesn't really need speed. We just need him. We just need him for this. This is what we need him for. For L12. For this skill right here. That's all we're using him for. So, if we have issues, we can always change the slot 2 to speed instead of attack. But for now, we'll leave him like that. Let's see if he's sanctified. Yeah, he's got fearless. No. I don't like this one. I want to change this to the one with crit damage. There's one with crit damage that I really like for this one here. Especially the Lynch, because he can go down to zero health, and that just gives him a bunch more crit damage because of the fact that he can go down to zero health. <laughs> if that makes sense. Because like he gets he has that passive where if he you know he stays alive for three turns with zero HP. So if he uses that skill with zero HP, I feel like it will do huge damage. Okay. Now let's check out the Archmage. Okay, he's good. He's not too bad. He's good enough. I mean, I would like him to, to have higher attack in the future. But for now, he's okay. She is okay. Let's see her runes. She looks okay for now. And then eventually we're going we're gonna to try to farm some Berserk runes for Selene. That is the goal here. That's what we're looking to do. Druad. He's good. And yeah, Medusa, we yeah, definitely got to change Medusa. Medusa needs some love. So we're going to get rid of this. Yeah, attack slot 2. No, no, no. Oh, hit, no, no, no. Hit percentage. We know we don't like that. We don't like hit on supports. We don't like hit percentage slot 6. And we don't like attack slot 2. And what's this here? Defense. Okay, defense is good. And we don't necessarily need her on a full swift set at all. That's not what we need. Yeah, that's not what we need at all. So let's we can get her on like maybe a blessing set or even a broken set would be fine. HP attack. Eh. Hmm. Yeah, the runes are very limited. HP speed hit. All right, I guess that's good enough for now. Again, we're not, we're, you know, we're not going to get, we're not going to find game-changing runes here. Let's see if we can find her a speed slot 2 blessing. So that's what we're looking for here. A blessing. Speed. Slot 2. Is that possible? Otherwise, she's going to have to go on a broken set, which is totally fine. Your swordsman is good because he's going to be in your vapor team as well. No blessing, huh? Yeah, most of these big accounts that I go on with all these monsters, the biggest issue I always find is runes. So guys, stop stop buying summons and buy runes. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. Like if you're gonna put money into the game, buy runes. Trust me on that. Buy runes. It's much better to buy runes than to buy 
Okay, this is your, your second shaman. So we're taking this speed rune off of... Yeah, we're definitely taking this off of him. Because right now where you are in the game, you do not need, like, doubles of anything. Like, there's there's no reason for you to have doubles, like, build doubles of anything right now. Because your main goal should be being able to clear every single boss in lair. Clearing vapor, common, and hard every two weeks. And being able to farm C12 and L12 under a minute, or around a minute, or under a minute. That should be your goal right now, your your end game goal. Well, not your end game goal, but your your the goal that you're working for right now. Yeah, so you should be worried about you know clearing those things and not necessarily worrying about building doubles. So worry about your lair team, your swordsmen, like I told you. I know you're probably doing it for guild wars, which which is okay. But before you really want to start focusing on guild wars, you want to make sure you're clearing those three things every single you know vapor every two weeks lair every single day you want to do a couple runs of lair every day a couple you know five times autos you want to do each one every single day and you want to do a little bit of you know c10 and l10 every day just because if you do that every day eventually you're going to collect good runes and you're going to be before you know it you'll have runes to rune all of this stuff you know instead of just you know spreading your runes out so so thin all right so no so now we want to put that rune on medusa so let's see if we have a slot 6 Agile rune as well. Now you gotta remember, we're running Medusa as the lead in pretty much everything that we do with her. So she only needs around 40% hit percentage. So that's why, and, and I noticed too lately on a lot of accounts that I go on, they're running the Medusa like plus 100 accuracy, plus 100 hit percentage. Guys, remember, in this game, with crit rate, resistance, and hit percentage, you, cannot, you can go over 100%, but it doesn't do anything. It is a waste of stats, guys. It's a 100% waste of stats. It only it only calculates up to 100%. After 100%, it does nothing. It's not doing anything for you. It's not giving you extra hit percentage or, you know, you're not cheating the system or anything like that. It just doesn't work that way. So stop it. Even in dungeons, most dungeons, I believe 85% is all you need. I don't even think you need 100%. I think it, you know, goes more towards... Um, the PvP side of things, not so much the PvE side of things. Let's see if we have something. No, we don't want that. Resistance, attack. Yeah, no, we're just going to leave her like this with a broken set for now. Unless we can find her. Unless we can find her another one. If we can find her a slot six, it's probably going to be attack. I believe this is your second popo. What's this here? Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, we are deruining your second shaman, even though it's magic. Again, you, we have to work with the runes that we have for now. Just to get these teams rolling, because you should be clearing um, Vapor, no problem. With, with what you have on this account, the monsters you have on this account, you should be clearing Lair, Vapor, C12, L12, and even getting into Hydra. You should be able to get into Hydra really soon. So these are things that we sh we got to get done now. This way we can, you know, focus on building you, you know, second copies of stuff, stuff like that. Because at this point, you don't need to summon anymore. You don't need food. You don't need anything. All you need at this point is runes. So Vito, if you're going to spend money, listen to Spaceballs, buy runes. Do not buy summons, buy runes. Trust me. It's not worth buying summons. You need runes. If you're going to buy, spend money... Or buy anything in this game runes 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 okay see how much faster we got her she went from like 130 speed and now we got her up to 186 speed that is huge difference big big difference she's gonna work so much better now now the only thing i'm concerned about is this lynch because i don't know if we i just cleared l 11 for him and then i wanted to start the video because i didn't want to start clearing content because i'd like you guys to see it like see you know how much i'm helping the account and you know what we're doing for the account you know i don't want to upgrade roots i just want to bring this up to six i don't want to bore you guys with like upgrading roots or anything like that i just want to make sure that we're going to get these crit rate rolls because that's the most important thing here come on one more just give us one more yes okay it's, it's not great but again this one's okay because this is attack and crit rate so it doesn't really matter i do want like one crit rate roll here it would be really nice if, if we can get another 
Beautiful. That was five, too. That was 5%. That's what Spaceballs likes to see. And this is a six-star rune, too. So this, this rune's not bad. Beautiful. It was only four, but hey, listen. It went from 5% to 15%. I'll take it. I think we're good now. So 50, 60, 70, 80. And then with some grinds, you can get them up to like that 85, 90. So this is much better build than what you had him on because now he's got the crit damage to match the crit rate. And, and you see we're not running a crit rate slot four. We're running a crit damage slot four, which is going to help that second skill so much more because now he's going to do so much more damage to the bosses because before he wasn't really doing that much damage because it's not based off of attack. Just remember that his second skill is not based off attack. It's based off of crit damage. His first skill, yes, it's based off of attack. But his first skill is based off of, I mean, his second skill is based off of crit damage. So just remember that when you're building your lynches, if you're using them, you know, like, like you're going to use your Archmage, like for this skill here, this is the same thing. This is based off of crit damage. And everything else is based off of attack. Okay, so I think the team is good. I think we got the team. Let's check it out in Vapor here. Make sure that the turn order is correct. And now, as far as Vapor goes too, like, you're going to have to make substitutions. Like, now when you do, like, floor... Not so much on common, but when we when we get over to hard, like the Archmage, we're going to have to switch him out for maybe like Azura or, you know, some other damage dealer that can take, you know, hits because Archmage is not going to be able to take hits on some boss stages. So if you can't one-shot the boss, like if your runes aren't good enough to one-shot the boss, you're going to have to make some substitutions. And that, that's why I want you to build Selene and get her on like a fast Berserk set because Selene is going to be one of those substitutions that you're going to have to make. So I you can see here I've been playing with the team. So this is going to be the team right here. I, I checked the Swordsman's runes already, but I'll show you guys. We actually want him the slowest on the team. Now, I know people like to build their Swordsman super fast. I actually don't like this. It, it's not bad, but his crit rate is way too low. Yeah, his crit rate is way too low. We're going to have to fix that really quick. Now, this is the only exception to the rule, guys. The Swordsman, Demonic Swordsman. With... This skill right here, with this skill right here, he has to crit for him to boost the turn meter. So if you cannot get enough crit rate on him, you have to run a crit rate slot four because that is his bread and butter. That is all that that's what he does, that's what he's good for. And it's the most important skill on the swordsman. It's the most important thing on the swordsman. He needs crit rate for that skill to proc. So a lot of people don't realize that he's when he's hitting something, he's not critting. So you're not getting turn meter because he's not critting. Now, where was that maxed? Where was that maxed crit rate you had? Beautiful. Now he's going to be on a broken set, but that's fine. Yeah, you now he's 100%. I'd rather have him on a broken set like this. And then we can even you can even switch this one in the future. Now, you can put anything that has like high hit percentage here. Just for now. And eventually, you can, we want to get him on a Berserk set as well. It's We definitely want him on a Berserk set in the future. So maybe we want to get two Berserk sets. One for him and one for Selene. And with all these, I think I pulled you a bunch of Swordsman yesterday. So you can actually start skilling him out. And you want to get him Sanctified as well. Because you definitely have Swordsmen to do it. So make sure, Vito, that you do this. You get him Sanctified and you put him on the hit percentage one. And then you'll get that hit percentage back. Yeah, you got so many Swordsmen here. So we can actually scale him up a little bit. I'm going to save you two. Use one of these to sanctify him. Sanctify him right away, Vito, please, right away. And, and give him this one right here. This one right here. Increase hit percentage and ignore resistance. Give him that right there. And that will give you back the hit percentage that we lost. That's 20%. And that will put him back to the 45% that you had before. So we're going to give him... Oh, that's right. We're going to give him some skill ups. And when you have all these copies, there's no reason not to. So wait. I think, I think that's enough. We might need one more. Yeah, because having this thing fully maxed is important as well because you want it to make sure that it triggers every single time you hit, get a critical hit. So let's just give him this last one. And now he's fully maxed. And now all you have to do is sanctify him and he's good to go. And you want to get him on a Berserk set in the future once you start farming L12 a little bit. Okay, so now let's go back to the Vapor. But you have been doing a great job. You've been doing a great job. Everything you've been doing is good, great stuff. Just, I, I realize a lot of people have trouble with runes, like how to rune stuff, and like, you know, putting like hit percentage slot sixes and, you know, crit rate slot fours, or rooting um, supports with DPS runes. Those are the biggest issues that I noticed doing these account reviews. 
So that's why I'd like doing these account reviews so I can so you guys can see it for yourself and you can see how I change it and you can make the changes on your own account. You know, if you look at your account and you see that it's similar and you you're having the same issues like you can't clear vapor, you can't clear layer or you can't clear L12, go back into your box, look at your monsters and see what the issues are. That's what I do on every single one of these account review reviews, guys. I look through the account, I I use the team, I play the team. And then I go back into the box and I look and I see what the issues are. Like I see like, you know, what runes are, are the issues, why, you know, the monster isn't working the way it's supposed to. And then I address that issue and then I put it back on the team and I check it again to make sure that the team is working proper. Now, the only thing we have to check here is speed order. Now, the shaman's too fast. It's not a big deal because we want shaman to move second, but it's, a, it's not a big deal because he's moving first. So the only... You know, for this team, it's not a big deal, but for L10, it might be a little bit of an issue. But I don't think so, though. I don't think so, because he doesn't... All he's doing is putting up the damage buff, and he's defense break. Yeah, so it's actually okay that he's the fastest on the team. But we actually want Elven Queen to be the fastest on the team. But for now, with where his runes are, it's okay. It's not something I'm going to go too crazy about. And he's, It's just because his base speed is so high. Like, sometimes people don't realize how high Shaman's base speed is. 118 is like one of the fastest ones in the game. I think he's right under Enchantress. So yeah, he's definitely got a super high base speed. But that's why it's okay that he moves first because he just puts up the damage buff anyways. He puts up that spell. So it's really not a big deal that he's moving first. But, you know, in a perfect team, we'd want him moving after Elven Queen, then Medusa, um, then Archmage, and then the Swordsman. So we actually would want to get Archmage faster in the future as well. Because the idea of having the swordsman move fast is your whole team moves, right? So the turn meter goes back to, you know, zero. And then the swordsman moves and he boosts the turn meter back up. Now, some people like to have him the fastest on the team. But the only issue I see with that is he moves first and your, your turn meter is already full. So what happens is you're just like wasting that first turn, like that first turn that he takes. Because then he's filling up a full attack bar already. So that's why I like mine to move last. But hey, everybody's different. Just my opinion. I like my swordsman to move last. So yeah, I think you should be good to go. You should be able to clear this no problem. Like the only the only switches you're gonna have to make is Archmage. So like if you if you have like if you're on a boss floor, like let's say you're doing um the Fallen Angel. Let's say you're doing the Fallen Angel. You're gonna switch the Archmage to the Lynch, and you're gonna switch the Shaman to Selene. Because Selene's gonna be your tank, but you're gonna need really good runes for Selene. Selene is gonna have to be really really like super super tanky and you want her on these skills here you want her like this but she is gonna have to be so tanky like this hp is gonna have to be like like a lot more let's just put it that way it's gonna have to be pretty much triple what it is now okay so just keep that in mind she's gonna have to be super tanky you have to do hp hp defense and they're gonna have to be six star runes. they're gonna have to be maxed and she's gonna have to be sanctified because that angel hits so hard or you can if you can't do that then you, we can work on something else we can build you can use the centaur and then you can have the centaur on the team so you can switch the, sh the shaman for the centaur let's see if i can if you have the centaur i don't know if you have a centaur built oh you do okay so it'd be something like this because fallen angel is probably the, the hardest floor that everybody has trouble with and honestly if you go on with that with the right team it's really not it's really not that bad. So it would look something like this. And... Yeah, we don't even need her. What happens is she's going to get targeted before the Selene. And she's gonna, the, the Angel's going to kill her anyways. And this is exactly what the team's going to look like. This team right here will take you straight through um, Fallen Angel hard. No problem. This is pretty much almost the same team that I use. And you can actually use the Goblin instead of the Lynch. It doesn't really matter. Anything that does damage off of max HP. Because it just makes the run a lot faster. Otherwise, it's going to take you like an hour to kill the Angel. Because it just keeps healing and healing. So this team right here will actually be perfect for you. So work on this. Work on your Centaur. Get your Centaur on some good runes. But you're going to have to start farming L12 and C12 and all that stuff. So that's you have some time for that. And you can always switch runes onto him. Like you can take runes from something else. that has Like, make, like maybe your Druid has good runes. You can put your Druid's runes on your Centaur, and so forth and so forth. But your Centaur, this skill has to be maxed up in order for it to work. Because otherwise you're gambling. If it's not 100%, you're pretty much gambling. 
So you have to make sure that this skill is scaled up. So that's going to do it for your Vapor team. That This is the team you're pretty much going to use on the, pretty much from, from boss 80, 90, and 100. This is pretty much the team that you're going to use. Everything else, you're going to use this team here, which I just showed you. This team right here is a team you're going to use for everything else. And you might even be able to get away with this team on some boss floors. I, the Angel, definitely not. But I think on floor 100 and floor 80, you can use this team because what's going to happen is uh, Medusa is going to control the, the minions on the side for floor 100. And then the Archmage, you can put the defense break up with Shaman. And then the Archmage will usually one-shot the boss because she has so much HP or the Abyss Lord. The Abyss Lord, you might want to use Hattori instead of the Shaman because the Hattori silences his passive. So it's, it all depends on the floor and what you're doing, but you have all the monsters. You have everything you need to do this stuff. So you can definitely do it. Just refer back to some of my other videos. And I do have videos on that stuff. So, but yeah, the Abyss Lord, the best thing, I'm pretty sure you have Hattori. Let's just see. So if you have Hattori, I just want to make sure you know every team. Yeah, you do have Hattori, so the same thing. So for floor for the Abyss Lord, you're going to do something like this. And you're going to put him in to silence the passive. You silence the passive. You put the defense break up. And, and even if he doesn't one shot, you have Medusa to put up the poisons. So he's going to die in one or two turns regardless. But the most important thing is silencing his passive. So you definitely have the stuff to do this. You can finish this no problem. So let me know how you're doing. If you need help, reach out to me on Discord. I'll always help you. So if you get stuck on a floor, just reach out to me. I'll sign in and I'll help you out. That's no problem. So... Let's just get into your L10 team now, and then we're going to close this one out. You you didn't clear anything past 10. I just cleared 11 for you, and now we're going to try to clear 12 with this same team. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to have the rune quality to do it. It should be okay. I'm hoping it's going to be okay. If, if, it's, if it doesn't pass, it's only because you don't have the rune quality, so we just have to, you're going to have to go to C10 and... You know, or just even upgrade the runes, because I think I feel like a lot of the stuff doesn't have upgraded runes. And I forgot to check the Druid skills. We want Druid on healing. And I think he's on I think he's on immunity, but we want him on healing for sure. Because we have Elven Queen to do the immunity. So that might be an issue here. We might have to switch him. And we will switch him right after this run. Let's just see if this works first, because if this works, then it'll definitely work when we switch him to the healing. So we're going to check that out right now. Yeah, he's on the wrong skill. We need, we want him on healing, healing for sure. But it, this team still should work fine. It's not going to be the fastest team in the world right now. But it's going to work. It's going to work. And it should be right around that one and a half to two minute mark. Which is good enough to start getting you some Berserk sets. See, that's worst case scenario is that like your Medusa would get one shot on this mini boss. You should still be okay. And I would use the Archmage instead of the Lynch, but the problem is the Archmage will die on the boss. The Lynch has that passive where he doesn't die and he gets three turns. That's why I went with the Lynch instead of the Archmage. The Lynch is actually really useful, guys. He's useful in so much stuff. He's useful as a farmer. He's useful for bosses. He's, he just got so much stuff in his kit that makes him so useful. I actually love the Lynch. I've, I've had the Lynch since like my third week of playing. And I've always loved my Lynch. We were hoping that the Medusa would would freeze this tower. She didn't. So now we're going to get immunity up. Yeah, no, we need healing. Definitely need healing here. But see, we're close. And the we didn't control this tower. If we can, um, uh, what is it called? Petrify this tower. We are good to go. So it's almost there. Let's just make one switch really fast. That switch is right here. Yeah, and you're going to have to level this up too. I'm pretty sure you have a bunch of druids. You want to scale this up too right away as soon as you can. But yeah, this 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 is the the end goal team right here. All right, let's try it again. We pretty much just have to hope that Medusa controls the towers. If she, if she controls the towers on the first or second turn, and they can't put immunity up, this team is going to work beautiful. So this is just going to come down to a matter of runes. But this is the team that we're going to be working on. If not, you can do um, L11 because this team cleared L11 no problem. Cleared it 1, 2, 3. It wasn't even close to failing. And I wasn't using the Jurat's heal. So for now, if you have to, you can do L11 for a little bit and then switch to L12. But I think this team should do it. I think this is going to be okay. 
And guys, if you're not a part of the giveaway, make sure you go down to the description and you get a part of the giveaway because we're going to be closing this one out very soon. And the random giveaway is also going on, so make sure you're commenting and liking to be a part of that as well. Just remember, I love you guys. We're still growing so fast at such a rapid pace, and I cannot thank you guys enough for it. I love you guys. I read your comments every day. I'm always smiling. You guys leave the best comments, and it's just awesome. Just so awesome. I never would have thought, you know, three months ago. Like, if you look at some of my earlier videos, like with the camera that I was using and just how cringe my videos were. <laughs> well, I think they were. But it was mostly because of the camera. Oh, wow. Well, Shaman got one shot, which is not good. See, that's what we're worried about. Stuff like that happening. That's going to be our issue because Shaman is our only defense breaker, unfortunately. Oh, no. Elven Queen, she... You think I forgot. You think Space Bells forgot. Elven Queen defense breaks on her first skill as well. So let's see if we can pull this one off. I feel like the Lynch isn't hitting that hard. And he's fully skilled up. His second skill is fully skilled up. We might have to get some more crit damage on him in the future. I'm just trying to get him something viable for now. You see, purging that tower on the first turn is really important. Because now I'm purging. <laughs> Petrifying. Petrifying that tower on the first turn is really important because now he can't put up the immunity, which is very, very good. That's that's something that we really need. But now she's not putting up poisons. We need her to be putting up poisons as much as possible. And we need a defense break. And we need see. And we need him to use a second skill. I don't know why he's not using his second skill. I feel like he hasn't used it once yet. Or has he? Maybe she didn't have the defense break up. He didn't use it again. What's going on? Strange. I feel like he's not using his second skill. But again, you see the team works great. The team's going to work great. Two minutes. Perfect. Good enough. Now you can farm L12 for some decent Berserk runes. And as you get better Berserk runes, because once you get Medusa on Berserk, on Berserk set, it's game over. It's game over because she's just going to petrify that tower over and over and over again. And you are going to have no worries at all. So this team, I believe, is good. I just want to check her out. Accuracy. Um, 50. Yeah, so she's right there. She's right where she needs to be in accuracy. If you have some grinds, you can just grind up a little bit of accuracy. But I believe that this is good. This is a good team. Something with the Lynch is bothering me, though. I feel like he's not... He does have kind of low crit damage. I'm not going to lie. But, but again, this is an early game build, so... It's good enough. As long as the team works and it's reliable, I'm happy with it for now. Because again, as you guys saw, it's the runes. We're lacking runes. And it's usually the problem with these reviews is that we're lacking runes. But as long as the team works, Spacewells is happy and we're going to end this one out. So let's just see if this team works. We're going to try it one more time to make sure that it wasn't a fluke. Which I don't think it was because the team is just there. It has synergy. It has a heal. It has damage based off of maxed HP. It has extra damage and a defense break from the Shaman. It has protection and speed boost from the Elven Queen. And it has, um, yeah, I think that's it. And the Medusa. It has the Medusa for poisons and everything else. So, like, it has the team hits every single mark it needs to hit. And we have the strip from the Druid. We have the strip from the Druid just in case we don't control the towers. He can strip the immunity on the next turn. So, I feel like we, we check every single box that we need for, for Leviathan. So... Yes, it's not the fastest team in the world, and if he had better runes, we can run Succubus instead of Shaman, but where his runes are, we just can't do that right now. It won't. I tried it. It it didn't work, so so don't think I don't try. Like, guys, I test a lot of stuff out. Like, before I start these reviews, I stay on the account for a couple hours, guys, and I test things out, you know, and I see how things work just to, you know, just to get an idea of where we're going to go with the account review. So just remember that. I just don't just, like... You know, start the video and say, okay, this is what we're going to do. Like, I, I really researched the account. Like, I've been looking at the account since, since we did the summons yesterday. I spent some time after the summons. I spent about an hour or two. And then today, I spent about another hour or two before we got onto the review. So, this is part, like, this is looking good. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit longer, but that's okay. And now, now that we control the tower, it should be okay. And plus, the shaman took the energy away from the tower, so that tower is going to be locked down for a little bit. And we got the attack break up, which is really good. The only thing we need is that. And we need the Lynch to use his second skill. I feel like he's not using his second skill. Or maybe he is and I'm just not seeing it. Or it's not doing the damage I wanted to do. Let's watch it here. Nope, that wasn't the second skill. 
I want to see the second skill. But it's a good team anyways. We got, was that it? Thunder? No, it's not Thunder. It's the other one. Or is it Thunder? I'm not sure. But as you can see, the team's going to work fine. Even with the immunity up. We, we're hoping the Dread strips it, but... He does have, you know, he's got the lead, the accuracy lead, so he should be able to strip it, but... Sometimes it just... There it goes. There's that skill I was looking for. There's the skill I was looking for. So again... He never cleared it before, and now he's going to be clearing it. So now this is a totally stable team. As you can see, it didn't even come close to failing. So I feel like this review was a success. We got him a successful Vapor team with many options for the boss floors. We gave him many, many options for the boss floors. And we built him a stable L12 team to start getting those Berserk runes. So stop building second copies. Vito, just focus on L12 and Vapor. Clear that Vapor as soon as possible. And we will be back in like a day or two and we will build you a lair team. So make sure you max out three Holy Swordsmen, the Bone King, Jungle Heart, Golem, Druid, which you have, and Una. So just make sure all those are maxed out, level 40, and I will ruin them for you. And we will get you a lair team as well so you can start farming all of the content in the game. Because I love helping you guys. You know that Spaceballs loves you guys. Yeah, that's, that's a garbage rune. But that's it for this one, guys. Vito, thank you so much for letting us do your summons yesterday. I had a blast doing them. Thank you for letting us review your account. I hope this helps you in moving into the future. But as always, guys, Spaceballs loves you. Thank you guys for all the support. The support is amazing. But I will see you in the next one. Spaceballs out. Peace. <laughs>